So that's uh, Bubba, the suspected baby daddy, over there wrestling with um, Royal. Uh, he's a normal green. Um, he, he might actually be a dark green, I think, not a normal green. Um, and he has blue highlights, so this is one of those things where it's kind of hard to, to tell the details. He's definitely a green, a normal green, normal markings. He's a, he's a pretty high-value bird. Um, he's got good size and a nice shape and good feather and everything else. Um, he's a little smaller than, you know, I, well, no, he is 70 grams, I think, so. But, um, yeah, so he's a good, a nice high value bird. He's, like, squatting down, sitting on his chest right now. And Royal's over there messing with him. Royal's full of beans these days. So I think this is the one that might, uh, the one that's most likely to have, um, bred with Kelly if it wasn't Sparky. Um, his, I had him all lined up to breed to, um, Cloudy, but she has, now mind you, I've gone through, all these guys have gone through a lot as I've been, um, clearing them out of every kind of parasite and illness you can possibly think of. But I'm, I've had a lot of trouble getting, um, Cloudy back to health. Um, whereas everybody else is pretty much finished up with it all. I have a cockatiel sitting in the way. So, um, she was gone for about three weeks, so I went ahead and put her back. I think I have her sorted out now. But I went ahead and put her back in the female flight and brought, um, Breezy in here instead. Breezy is this little spangle girl right here. Um, who, if you take a look at her, you see she is a lot of blue, um, her, under her tail, she's actually, like, totally blue, like that, um, and she has a lot on her back, too. Um, I suspect she's a golden face, and I've had some others tell me that that's quite possible as well. Um, on the other hand, Bubba over here, sitting next to Verde now, has a lot of blue around there, too, but I've also read, but it's not like hers, it's like... It looks like it maybe he's split to blue, or he has a violet factor or something that makes him a little more blue down below. But I think he's a green, a, a yellow-based bird with um, either a, a violet factor or split to blue. Whereas Breezy up here is so, she's, her blue is actually so striking, and, and her green is even a kind of a blue-green color that I think she's a golden face. So anyway, she is, this is, she's not huge, she probably weighs about 60 grams, but she is, her, her feather is beautiful, um, she has a huge mask, um, her markings are good, and her body shape is just striking. She's a beautiful bird. Um, so I think she's a better match to bring out what Bubba has to offer anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and breed them. And Miss Cloudy gets to stay in the girl's cage and either show me some consistent good health or end up not being in my breeding program. So, um, so that's it. So this is obviously if we have um, Bubba here... Breeding to um, Kelly, who's also a normal green. Um, the, the, it's pretty much, you know, a, a 90% deal that they would have a normal green baby. Um, unfortunately, breeding Sparky to Kelly also has about a 25% chance of, of producing a normal green baby. The one caveat to that is that um, if... if uh, Sparky has a bunch of sex link traits, so he could never throw a normal green female baby. If he has any normal green babies, it would have to be a male. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's, if it comes out a normal, if I, if the first egg comes out a normal green, it's a very likely Bubba's baby rather than, um, Sparky's. But, and the other thing is, as it grows, I can watch because um, Bubba and Sparky are both high value birds, but in different ways. Sparky um, has this trait where he has a great big breast, and he has passed that on to all three of his babies that are out in the big flight. Whereas um, the conformation of Bubba here is, is much more straight and in line. 
Um, and Bubba's not as big as Sparky. Sparky's a little bit bigger. Um, so I think by confirmation alone, I would probably be able to tell the difference once they get a little bit of size on them, the babies that is. Okay, so that's possible da baby daddy right there. And his girl, he and his new girl, Breezy, will be in the breeding shed as soon as I get another cage, which is supposed to be coming in the mail in the next week or so. So that's that.